A new ad taking on an old topic and Republicans bringing in national GOP power for campaigning this week. I'm Scott Inman with the Election Central Daily Brief for Tuesday, August 19th. The Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee launching a new ad Tuesday hammering Republican Senate candidate Tom Cotton over a vote he made against a funding bill for children's hospitals. It's the second ad hitting Cotton over the issue. This new ad targets Cotton's vote on a bill that passed the House in February 2013 by a vote of 352 to 50. According to Congress.gov, it was an appropriations bill for, quote, children's hospitals for expenses associated with operating approved graduate and medical training programs. Cotton's campaign responded with a, quote, Senator Pryor's Washington allies are doubling down on their false attacks. The truth is that no funding for Arkansas Children's Hospital was lost because of these votes, and Tom Cotton has voted repeatedly to fund pediatric research, including his strong support for the Gabriella Miller Kids First Research Act. Cotton has said he voted for Children's Hospitals on other occasions, but the ad fires back at Cotton saying, quote, we can't trust him to stand up for Arkansas or tell the truth. The DSCC says the ad is the second that is part of a multi-million dollar advertising buy in Arkansas. Well, Republican Asa Hutchinson is bringing in a former presidential candidate to boost his campaign for governor. Hutchinson will, will appear with former Massachusetts governor and Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney Wednesday at ASU in Jonesboro. Hutchinson's campaign says the press conference will center around job creation and economic growth. They say they chose ASU because Hutchinson wants ASU graduates to be able to find a good job and stay in the state. Hutchinson's campaign says Romney wanted to help campaign and publicly voice his support for ASA. And back here in central Arkansas, U.S. House Majority Leader, Leader Kevin McCarthy makes a swing through Little Rock and Hot Springs on Wednesday to campaign for two congressional candidates. The California congressman will appear with 2nd District candidate French Hill at well-spun tubular pipes on Fraser Pike. The two are expected to tout the Keystone Pipeline there. And then McCarthy will appear later in the day in Hot Springs with 4th District candidate Bruce Westerman. And finally, Governor Beebe on hand Wednesday morning in Pine Bluff for what's being called a job creation announcement. But leaders are staying tight-lipped about the specifics. Talk business sources tell us the announcement is related to the timber and forestry industry. That announcement will be made at the Economic Development Alliance for Jefferson County. That's Tuesday's Daily Brief. I'm Scott Inman.